We came here in this country for our dean. Came here for religious motives. Not because of our interest in Western norms, primarily. The niqab is something that is written about in the books of fiqh. And in our times, it is of the tadayun, it is of the religiousness of the ordinary people. Ahmad Abdul Jabbar's mother in Zarqa has nothing to do with the tariq. Where's the niqab? an ordinary mutadayan ordinia individual. Abaziz, Khurma, the Munshid family, none of them are in the tariq. All of the ladies were the niqab. All of his, the wives of his many brothers and his mother. Ordinary Jordanians were the niqab. It's not aberrant and it's not weird and it's not Go down to the people visiting at the Mustash for this time, not the people that work there, the visitors. Go to the hospital at the University of Jordan hospital. People visiting. There's lots of people that wear niqabs. A face veil. So, Sheikh Abdul Rahman, he was telling me about the a poster that came out, the Ikhwan al Mustameen, where had a poster of this beautiful young uh, Syrian girl with a hijab without a niqab on and they plastered it all over Damascus one time and the sheikh was outraged at this. And they said, this is the way that a Muslim I should look. And they're making a campaign for the taking off the niqab. And the sheikh made a remark. He said, كُلُّ مَنْ يَدْعُوا إِلَى سَفَارَةَ الْوَجْهِ فَهُوَ shaitan." Is everybody who calls for people to take off their, 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 their for the ladies to be barefaced is a shaitan, remote from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And later, some years later, I had a chance, I had a question for him. I said, well, I want to marry a Western girl, my present wife. I said, so if we end up working it's not a very usual thing for somebody to wear a niqab in the West. What's the bottom line? And so he motioned with his fingers. He said this and this. He motioned me, drew a circle around his face, and he drew a circle around his wrists. In other words, she can go without gloves and she can go without a face cover, indicating the two levels that exist in the sharia. Some of the people have come back and they said, you know, even the people that we went to all these intensives with and we went to such and such an institute with, said they're taking off their whole hijab. They're taking off their head covers, let alone their niqabs. It's the, the liberal age for this time. And so, where does it stop? Where does it stop? In istikhara, and anyone else that hears istikhara may be better than mine, but among the two kinds of Sufi tariqas that I'm familiar with, one in which the murid follows the sheikh, and the other one in which the sheikh follows the murid opinions, the former is the kind of Sufism that I found with Sheikh Abdul Rahman. And so I wanted to mention a few of the, uh, to say plainly and clearly to people where it, where it stops. The ladies who come here and who are associated with the, uh, the, with the tariqa, who have taken the tariq, in Jordan and Syria they should wear the niqab without any exception. They should wear the niqab. If they're scared of looking like Salafis, even though, we, as we have said, there are plenty of uh, Owam Jordanians who don't wear, who are not Salafis and wear the niqab. 
They can wear a white or a pastel niqab. This is something that is very usual among the ordinary Jordanian women if they go out shopping somewhere or if they go someplace. A white, you know, shorter tarha and a white niqab or a pastel colored niqab if they want to look like the Jordanian women, many of them. If there is a, the only exception to, the, to which is in view of a durura or that which they would actually suffer harm from if they didn't. Meaning if they don't have a job and this is the only job they have and they have to go without the niqab for the job. As for going without the hijab, taking off the hijab, unless it's mandated by the law of the country that one is in, no, it has nothing to do with any murid who takes off their hijab. In other words, they can have something to do with someone else besides Noah. have nothing to do with it. And the tariqah has nothing to do with it. And so in Jordan and in Syria, the niqab at all times, except if there is a durora. In other words, one doesn't have a job and one would be fired from one's job and this one did it. The second, a second condition or second uh, locus for wearing niqab or dis- discussing between niqab and hijab is when a murid is traveling with myself and Umm Sahel to some place, going here, going to Pakistan, going to the Emirates, going to some place, going to uh, Egypt, going to Turkey, going to America, going anywhere that they, whoever travels with us has to wear the niqab while they're traveling with us. And ladies have to wear the niqab if they're talking to me. There's a personal interview. This is something that they have to wear the niqab for, no matter where they are. 